not yet at the point where what all of you are thinking right now is something that like a little thought bubble above your head is something we can see, but we're getting there. Which means that the NSA and other organizations <laughs> can spy not just on your email and your cell phones, but soon potentially on your brains as well. My agents forged documents and gained entry to the Ministry of Truth. Thought crime is death. Thought crime does not entail death. Thought crime is death. I have committed, even before setting pen to paper, the essential crime that contains all others in itself. Can you imagine that in 10 years when we are sitting here, we have an implant in our uh, brains, and um, I can immediately feel, because you all will have implants, I can, and we measure your, your brain waves, and I can immediately tell you how the people react, or I can feel uh, how the people react um, to your answers. Uh, is it imaginable? The really big thing is hacking human beings. To hack human beings, you need a lot of biological knowledge, a lot of computing power, and especially a lot of data. If you have enough data about me, and enough computing power and biological knowledge, you can hack my body, my brain, my life. You can reach a point when you know me better than I know myself. And once you reach that point, and we are very close to that point, then democracy, the free market, as we have, and actually all political systems, also authoritarian regimes, um, we have no idea what, what happens once you pass that point.